what do your wives wear when the two of you go out? Do they wear slacks, skirts, dresses, kilted skirts? Does she ever match a tartan or what you're wearing? So, What do our wives wear? Um, it's... My wife won't be seen with me in public, so it's a non-issue. That's a fair point. It's very fair. Um, <clears throat> it's, we're... My wife does not do the matchy-matchy thing necessarily. Um, tone, maybe, but not matchy-matchy. Um, and she is her own person. She's her own individual. I don't try to control what she wears any more than she tries to control what I wear. But what about for fun? Would she ever do... Okay. For fun, um, she... if Now, it, it depends on the event. Um, so I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, for our wedding... I had on the Scott Green weathered tartan, and for the and so did the groomsmen. For the brides' side, the bridesmaids, they all wore Stuart weathered, uh, Stuart dress weathered because it matched tonally with the Scott Green weathered. So it all kind of tied together. Even though it was two different tartans, it worked. Mm -hmm. um, if we go to <coughs> an event where we both have to like a, a black tie kind of event, not that we really go to that many black tie events, but if I get to a black tie event, I will. She will probably wear something to tone well with what I am wearing. Not necessarily match, but at least go with it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we don't clash. So we look like we belong together, although we are not. You know, <laughs> the Kramers, um, good customers of ours, who wear the exact same tartan every time they go out in their tartans. Um, so we're not quite that matchy matchy, but we'll do. You know intentional toning now if we're going out to a date night and i want to wear a kilt and she wants to wear a dress i don't care whether i'm in you know you know this kilt you know i have on now the celtic nations or whether i'm in you know law enforcement it doesn't matter what tartan i'm wearing if she wants to wear a bright pink and orange lily pulitzer dress i don't care um, it's whatever she wants to wear and whatever I want to wear. I don't tell her, no, how dare you wear that when I'm wearing this tartan, um, and vice versa. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it depends on the circumstance. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Mm -hmm. Enlighten us. Mm -hmm. um, my wife doesn't match me at all. Uh, I mean, not tartan-wise. She doesn't wear tartan. Bottom line. Uh, she has uh, some Welsh heritage, uh, but she is a classical American mutt. And uh, she's just never really grooved on tartan. So we will sometimes play with color uh, to be complimentary, like you were saying. Um, but uh, there's there, tartans and plaids have never been really a part of her wardrobe. So the clo I mean, we will we will do the matchy thing in terms of tone of the event. You know, like if we're doing something heathen, we'll both wear something with the brooms on it or something. Or if we're doing, uh, I have a couple of nice pictures of us from um, uh, Victorian and steampunk events where we're both in you know, turn of the century, kind of a kit. Um, but never does she put on a tartan to match me. Right. So, she's her own person. So Funny yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, uh, women have their own personalities and lives. Weird. I now, I, now, that said, I mean, I think we've touched on the various options that ladies will consider when they're doing this. And I could see that if we were going to, like, a, if we were heavily involved with a clan society or something like that, I'm sure that we would probably try to both have the clan tartan on it and uh and she would probably get really creative with it so there's tons and tons of options you can kind of let your imagination go these days um the most simple and traditional option of course is the sash you know for certain occasions like that again like if you're going to a clan gathering or you know an evening event um uh but it could be as simple as a rosette or you can go crazy with it and do tartan everything yeah so. tartan dress jacket or skirt mm -hmm. or whatever yeah mm -hmm. Mac, Tart did you have something to jump in with with or were you just coughing to no, cough? No, I, uh, I, I, I downed the rest of my glass. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. What about, but, but let's let's put you on the spot. What about Brittany? What does Brittany ever do? Avoid me. Um, <laughs> right. She she becomes I love my wife. <laughs> she becomes more of the um, of the, the pr protecting mode, and like she will kind of watch everybody else. Um, but as far as like what she's wearing, it's just everyday stuff. Okay. Nothing. I mean, right now she's a human submarine, so it, right. it's you know she <laughs> she's gonna she's love. She's pregnant, so <laughs> human submarine. Yes. Um, 
so, glass yeah, she... navel with a little kid's eye poking out. <laughs> so she'll love that comment. But um, uh, it just depends where we're going. Um, most times, just jeans and a nice, nice top. So she's pretty cash mm. for most things you do. Yeah. yeah. Totes. Yeah. Yeah. Now I do know she's done reenactment with you. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not always jeans and a t-shirt. No, no. She's kind of put that put that to the side since our first kid. So. Got it. Got it. Right. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining us for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let us know in the comments and be sure to check out our other stuff. If you're looking for more Celtic community and kilted community, you can follow us on Facebook. And more importantly, you can check out the Kilts and Culture Facebook group where you will find hundreds of other guys who are exploring this stuff and enjoying it and sharing what they're doing. We hope to see you there. Take care.